Angst. Accusations of dirty politics in Lancaster after that city's mayor labeled a city council hopeful as a gang candidate. And tonight, this isn't the first time Mayor Rex Paris has come under fire for his comments, but this time it has triggered a political firestorm. KCAL 9 political reporter Dave Bryan live tonight in Lancaster. Dave with details plus reaction in this latest controversy. That's right, Ken. It'll come as a surprise to absolutely no one that politics is a rough and dirty game. And here at Lancaster City Hall, they play hardball. But some folks here in the city say that even by those extremely low standards, a new campaign mailer sent out just a few days ago by Mayor Rex Paris to voters in the region attacking a city council candidate may be setting a new low. Yeah. Here's the mailer, which has been attacked as racist and outrageous. In it, Mayor R. Rex Paris, who's no stranger to controversy, calls on voters to defeat the gang candidate, Jonathan Irvin, an engineer and Air Force Reserve officer after 16 years of active duty. Are you the gang candidate? Uh, absolutely not. That is uh, one of the most uh, hurtful comments that I've ever heard uttered in the public square. You did call uh, Mr. Irvin a gang, gang candidate. We are in an election. I, and that's my opinion. It is absolutely my opinion that if this particular candidate gets elected, we will have a much more difficult time controlling gangs. The mayor argues that his crackdown on gangs reduced the gang shooting death toll in the city from 23 in 2008 when he took office to zero in 2011. And he says not only did Irvin oppose his efforts to rein in the gangs, but he also allowed anti-law enforcement remarks at a peaceful Trayvon Martin solidarity rally in 2012. Remarks like this. Their son was murdered by the sheriffs in Palmdale. 11 shots was given to his back. But now the reporter who broke the story for the Antelope Valley Press told me one of those who made such remarks was appointed by Mayor Paris to a city commission and has now resigned. Anything else you need from us? Uh, that would be it. We just want to make sure no kids get hurt. we got a lot yeah. of children. That's just why make sure everybody gets that. across the street fine. Yeah. That's, that's the major thing. That's what we want to do. Irvin seen in this video having a congenial conversation with sheriff's deputies just before the march and rally began, says he never heard any such remarks at the march and wonders why it took the mayor so long to speak out if he was so upset about the anti-law enforcement remarks. But it's taken the mayor two years sending out a political hit piece to stand up on this issue. I think the public sees right through this. In the campaign mailer in support of two other city council candidates, Mayor Paris says this about the possibility Irvin could be elected to the council. If he is on the council, he will know about ongoing operations to fight the gangs. When he passes this information to his friends, the safety of our deputies and our families will be in jeopardy. You don't think that's a little over the top? Well, I think it might be a his little over friends? the top. I, I think it might be a little over the top. I also think it's politics, but I also think that when he led that march, he allowed people to be flashing gang signs on the cameras. He did nothing to control that event. You're actually saying here that he's conspiring with, with gang, with his friends, the gang. I think anybody... That's, that, that's more than a difference when, in policy. When you have 23 murders of young people and you were the guy opposing everything we did to save those children's lives i don't know that it's that far over the top what he's saying is pretty clear that you would be giving information to the gangs to avoid law enforcement that, that's exactly it? how how i interpret it uh, that's how the public interprets it this is why the public is outraged uh i'm iraqi freedom uh veteran and uh, I've been trusted with some of our country's most sensitive secrets and to say uh, that I would put public uh, safety at risk and give information to the criminals is an insult to me. Our community is safer without him. Our children are safer without him. Now, should I have used a different word? Probably. But we are talking about the lives of young people in my city. And if it means I have to use a word that maybe I shouldn't have, I'm using it. Now, the election here is on April 8th, an election, by the way, that probably would have gone little noticed except for this controversy. We're live in Lancaster. Dave Bryan, KCAL 9 News.